feel bad for a lot of the guys in that locker room. Put a lot into it. Coaches that put a lot into it. People uh, supporting staff. People in this room that put a lot into it. So feel bad. Feel bad for Bronco Nation. And uh, sorry, sorry, it wasn't enough. Yeah, an emotional weekend for the Boise State Broncos. You just saw Davis Cutter there in the post-game uh, news conference after Boise State's 28-16 loss to the Fresno State Bulldogs in the Mountain West title game. But the season doesn't end there, and sports reporter Brady Frederick is here now to, to break down Boise State's bowl game. Heading to Texas, Brady. Yeah, that's right, Doug. Despite falling short in the chase for a conference championship, this really has been an incredible show of resilience for the Broncos this season. They no bounced doubt. back from a tough start. They had changes at quarterback and offensive coordinator and still prevailed to go undefeated in Mountain West play and clinched bowl eligibility for the 25th consecutive season. Years. Yeah, incredible stuff there. Yesterday, we found out the Broncos are headed to the Frisco Bowl to take on North Texas on on Saturday, December 17th. That game kicks off at 7.15 Mountain Time, held at Toyota Stadium, and will be nationally televised on ESPN. Tickets are on sale right now through the Boise State Athletic Ticket Office, and they'll make sure you're sitting with some other BSU fans. Head coach Andy Avalos says it's an honor to be invited to the Frisco Bowl, adding, quote, for several of our players, it provides an opportunity to play in front of family and friends in the state of Texas. It will also be a special honor for the seniors who take the field for the last time with their brothers. We look forward to the challenge and seeing Bronco Nation represented at the game. Game. There are 13 Texans on the Boise State roster, including Ashton Genty and Zion Washington, who played high school football in Frisco. Also an opportunity to get some exposure and strengthen that recruiting pipeline in Texas. They currently have five commits from the Lone Star State in the 2023 class. So now Taylor Green and company have an opportunity to take on the Mean Green. It will be the seventh meeting between the Broncos and North Texas all time. They've split the series three and three apiece. Last time they played, it was the year 2000. BSU shut out North Texas 59 to zero and Dirk Cutter was the head coach in that game. This season, North Texas boasts a 7-6 overall record. They made it to Conference USA's championship game but lost to UTSA 48-27 over the weekend. And an interesting and surprising note for this game, North Texas fired their coach yesterday. Seth Luttrell had gone into a bowl game in all but one of seven seasons with the team. So some high standards there for the Mean Green. Yeah, it sounds like um, he had... It's rare to hear a coach make a bowl game Go to the championship game and get fired. But yeah, I was, I was reading through their uh, press conference about it afterwards because that is surprising. He's been very consistent. He went 44 and 44 all time with the program. Okay. But I guess they're, they're trying to take that next step and elevate the program to be uh, a championship kind of team. You know, it, it gets a little nervous. So the players yeah. always get a little hyped up on the interim head coach bowl game. Right. Uh, time for a change, I guess. Yeah. Okay, Brady, thank you very much. We'll see you tonight on the news at 6.